today, Daytona Beach, Florida, concluded its 80th annual Bike Week, a 10-day event where, get this, over 300,000 people were expected to descend on the area. All right, here to tell us how the large-scale event went amid the ongoing pandemic is Daytona Beach, Florida Mayor Derek Henry. Mayor Henry, thank you for being with us. Yes, over 300,000 expected to be there in the middle of this worldwide pandemic. Tell us how it went, how you tried to keep safety measures in place, and if you think now still it was a good idea. Do I, uh, well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. It was uh, a great event in terms of uh, numbers. Uh, 300,000 is uh, a large number to contain. We had great uh, protocols in place. Our businesses uh, were super. We do wish, however, that the visitors uh, would practice protocols a little bit better uh, as it relates to masks. Uh, the whole issue of uh, masks has been such a polarizing uh, concern. And so when visitors come, oftentimes uh, you will see uh, many who are not wearing masks, and that was our greatest frustration. Um, we saw some pictures here. You said you wish they would have done a little bit better. Uh, just how mm -hmm. bad was it when you looked out there? Look, we, we were just seeing video, so we weren't there, and, and, and surely we don't get the whole picture here. But, but how much mask use did you see there in, a, in, a, uh, in an event that was supposed to bring in 300,000 people? Not, uh, not a lot, uh, because bikers, by and large, they, it, it is an outside event. So what we were able to do as it relates to safety protocols is that we curbed the number of uh, people inside of buildings, uh, which uh, by governor's order we normally couldn't do, but because this is an event that we uh, in part sponsor by issuing permits to businesses, they agreed to curb their number from 100% inside to 60%. And we felt that it was better uh, as we all know, we're at a different space and a different uh, time. We know a lot more about the virus now. Uh, and outside is a lot better than inside. So we certainly were happy to be able to uh, sort of encourage people to be outside more than inside. Mayor Henry, you're coming off of this uh, big bike extravaganza and you're headed right into spring break right now. And obviously Daytona Beach is a huge spring break destination. So what are you anticipating in terms of how you're going to keep everyone safe with that many people coming into your town? Well, the reality is that, as I said, we're a year out. So uh, we know more about the virus and a lot of it comes down to personal responsibility. Uh, we do not have uh, the authority as a municipality to put any measures in place uh, that would compel people uh, not to open businesses or to curb the amount of people who are in businesses. Uh, that is uh, the governor's decision. So our hope is that people will uh, do the things that we've asked them to do as it relates to masking up, backing up, and washing up. Uh, those are things that we know that work. Uh, and uh, again, the polit political of uh, masks is not a, a fortunate uh, position for us, but as a community, uh, that's what we hope, that folks will wear their masks. And, and we know that teenagers and young college folks are coming to Daytona Beach to have a good time, but our hope is that they'll follow uh, protocol. Um, Mayor Henry, this, we talk about 300,000 people coming. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. Some people will just hear that and say, that's crazy. Uh, there's no way <laughs> that event should take place. I know you are limited in uh, how much you can do necessarily, but at the same time, isn't a lot of this about money? You all are a tourism spot and you depend, and those businesses depend on so much money. Yes, from that biking event, also the, uh, the spring breakers. How do you uh, strike that balance, maybe even in your own mind, uh, and also with policy, um, how your, your community needs those dollars, but at the same time, we are in a pandemic? Certainly we acknowledge the financial uh, implications and impact of uh, COVID. Uh, and that was in part, uh, certainly a part of the decision to issue the permits uh, that allowed the event to take place in its traditional fashion. However, that is also, uh, we were able to strike a balance with the business community, uh, where as I said, we were able to compel them to limit the number of people inside in restaurants, uh, as well as uh, force folks outside, which we know outside is always much better than inside. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we have been uh, the most COVID responsible community in our region. Uh, we were the first uh, community 
to issue uh, mass mandates. We were the first uh, community to uh, uh, put fines in place. We were the first community to do a litany of things to try to uh, curb the spread of the virus. So we do recognize that uh, there is a tough balancing act, and we've done our best to try to, to meet both demands, being safe as well as uh, allowing residents and business owners to make a, make a dollar. I know it's going to be a very busy next couple of weeks for you, Mayor of Daytona Beach, Derek Henry. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.